Right, well, my name is Russell Lord. I'm a diamond mounter of 45 years. And I'm making this 1976 Mark II Escort rally car that Ari Vatten and drove. And this ain't no ordinary little car. This is a proper car. My first job was in 1975. Worked for these two fellas. And I know this is gonna sound terrible, but I've started working from, and within literally a matter of weeks, I thought, is that how you make jewelry? I, I can do better than this. And I knew right from get go, that I wanted to be better than most. We moved out of Hatton Garden on the weekend of the safety deposit robbery. I emptied out our three boxes on the Thursday. I was moving into our Shenfield shop three and a half years ago on that April bank holiday. And then when we was taking all that stuff out to put it into our safes into the Shenfield shop, Bob said, what's that in there? Is that a car? I said, yeah. He went, wow. He said, what is this, Dad? I said, it's a silver car I started about 25 years ago. He said, Dad, you've got to finish that. I said, Bob, do you know how much work is in there? When he found it and he, he sent me that challenge, that's the reason why I've really dug it back out. My very first car was a Mark I Escort. And my old man brought it home and said, there's an Escort there. Take the engine out, take the gearbox out, strip it down, put it back together again, and see if you can start it up. He said, but I don't want to see a nut or a washer left over. So I said, right, okay. So I did that. And that gave me an introduction now to look after my own cars, if you like. Just, just pulled it apart, cleaned it, put it back together again. So I've got a very, very good knowledge of what they look like. Because I know how a, a BD sits in an Escort. I know how far it goes back to the bulkhead. I know the clearance of the trumpets up to the inner wings. I know, because I've had so many. The car is predominantly made from silver. 80% of it. Seats, body shell, floor pan, boxes, axle. The wheels are gold. The hubs are gold, the discs, calipers, gold. Um, spoiler, gold. Hinge brackets for the bonnet, 18 karat yellow gold. Twin DCOE 45s, carburetors, gold. The trumpets on the carburetors, white gold. The front grille for the car is 18 karat white gold. Headlights, 70 points of diamonds each. Big diamonds. Front indicators, orange sapphire, trimmed in to look the same distance and length proportionately to the Mark II Escort bumper. Rear lights, baguette diamond, brake lights, ruby. Indicators are orange sapphire. So we've got a lot of expensive materials in this car. The glass is glass. I can't tell how many vases I've smashed to get the segments for the curve for the windscreen. But the curve has got to go that way. It's got to go that way. And you try getting that right, it is an absolute mare of a job. But I'm winning. Bit by bit. I think the part that most people like, including me, I think is the front end. Because you've got that grill and you've got the load. You know, rather than that full, it's got load. Uh, you've got the bumpers. The whole thing, I'm, I'm actually starting to become quite proud of the whole car. I've now matched the front to match the back. At the front, I've now made the calipers, the discs, but I've actually made track control arms. I never would have thought in my wildest dreams I'd have been doing track control arms. I've made the steering box, the steering rack. Out of the steering rack, you've also got the, the, the steering rod ends that match into the TCAs, and in the TCAs goes the anti-roll bar. 
Now, no way would I have ever thought of being able to, to achieve all this, but I've got little fine adjustments to do. But in doing what I've done, I'm actually a little bit shocked at myself that I've managed to produce this to the standard that it is. Bonnet hinges. That was a nightmare. I've made that system four times, three times, the fourth time it worked. And I tried so many, so many types of hinges in the beginning. If you look at a door hinge on your door, you've got what's called a three knuckle hinge. You've got a tube, tube, tube. I made that, but no bonnet does that. Most bonnets come out and up and then they come back down. That was a true nightmare. But I ain't giving up. You, you, you keep trying until you get it right, period. Once the car is eventually completely finished and we've done our shows and we've decided where it's gonna go, however the money comes in, all I actually want is what's gonna to go to the charities. I don't want just one charity to have it. Um, I want various charities to have it. So, so we can spread it around a bit. I've had my life, not that I'm dead yet, but I've had a good part of my life. Even if you're 24 years old, you've had a good part of your life. But there's kids out there that don't even get off the line, whether it's gonna be due to mental, physical, abused, whatever. Some kids don't even get the chance to get off the line. I know a standard to work to, and when the day comes that I'm not on this planet anymore, I want it to be left behind in the knowledge for my son that works at the business, my other son that's doing his own thing, and I've got two daughters. And I just want to sort of have them know with their kids that maybe their granddad or their dad Makes something a bit special. This is just me. Me and peace. And to have a piece that's taken whatever hours it's going to end up being, 1,000, 1,200, I don't know where it's going to be hours wise. But at least I can show my kids this is what the old man was capable of. And I'd like them to be. Right away. I would say it's really about 80% there. I've still got a way to go. I just cannot wait for me to 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 get this little car finished.